guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a subscription box unboxing video that I am so excited to unbox. And that is an unboxing for the February Runaway with the Circus Owl Crate box. So Owl Crate is a monthly bookish subscription box that I have done a couple of unboxings for in the past, so I'll leave them linked on the screen as well as down below if you'd like to go watch my past unboxings. And this month's theme, like I mentioned, is Runaway with the Circus, and I cannot tell you how many people tweeted me, messaged me on Instagram, left like comments on Owl Crate's photos, tagging me, asking me if I'd seen this box or if I'm getting this month's box, because you all know how much I love the Night Circus. And Owl Crate contacted me this month and they have also noticed my love for the Night Circus and thought that I would really enjoy this box. So they so kindly sent it to me this month to unbox here on my channel. So a huge, huge thank you to Owl Crate for feeding my Night Circus obsession, but without any further ado, because I'm dying to know what's in here, let's just open it up. I seriously cannot tell you how many people messaged me asking me if I was getting this box or telling me that it existed because you all know how much I love the book and I appreciate you all. Okay, so the tape is now cut and I'm so, so excited. I've seriously never been this excited to open up a box. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, so the first thing already is blowing me away. It is the card that tells you everything that's inside this box. And usually it has like gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And this one is absolutely no exception. This is hand down my favorite owl crate card I have ever seen. This is so gorgeous. It's so perfectly circus themed. I'm literally going to display this on my bookshelf. It is a work of art. On the very top is this Attic Journals deck of paper. Small notepad made from casino discards and 75 pages of quality paper. That's so cute. So this is just like a little notebook that is made, the covers are made from um, playing cards and then inside is just a notebook. Let me open this up. Yeah, so it's just this little notebook with um, plain blank paper, but then the two sides are just playing cards. Mine has the nine of spades, clubs. I don't remember what these are. I'm not good at this. And then the seven of hearts. This is so, so cute. The next thing that's in here are these little page flags that are all circus themed. So we have acrobats, like a bunch of food, stars, um, and like, like a Ferris wheel and some circus tents. These are so adorable and I love using these for marking like pages in books when I'm reading because I don't like actually physically writing in my book. And the design on these ones is so cute. Okay, the next thing in here is this little chapstick, I believe. And it says Midway Mini Donuts. It's cinnamon donut flavored. That sounds so good. I love donuts and I love cinnamon. Oh my God, <laughs> this smells so good. It literally smells like a cinnamon donut. I literally want to eat this. That's not good for my health. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay, the next thing in here is this little candle that says Le Cirque de Rêves, which is the Circus of Dreams, which is the Night Circus. So it's a Night Circus scented candle. And oh my God, that smells so good. It doesn't say what the scent is on here, but it smells really, really good. It smells kind of like sweet and carnival foodie, like kind of like the cinnamon donut one. It's definitely a very sugary scent, but it's not too overwhelming. And I just really love this. I like anything Night Circus themed as you all know, because I have a problem when it comes to that book. So this makes me so happy. <gasps> this next thing though, oh my God, you guys, I'm like gonna start crying. This is embarrassing. This is a tote bag that says the circus arrives without warning and it has night circus fan art on it. Do you see this gloriousness? I'm screaming. This is literally so pretty. It says the circus arrives without warning. No announcements precede it. It's simply there when yesterday it was not. Aaron Morgenstern, the night circus, and then we have the circus tent and there's Celia in the corner with her umbrella and oh my god you guys. I am so in love with this. This is like such a good sized tote bag. This is literally the size of the tote bag I use as my backpack for school, except this one has longer straps, so I might have to switch to this instead. I literally cannot get over this and how gorgeous it is. I'm seriously so, so in love with this. And this was designed by Evie So or Evie Bookish. She has a Society6 shop that I'm absolutely in love with. She has so many gorgeous designs for so many different book series and she doesn't have any Night Circus ones. And I've heard that this is actually exclusive to Owl Crate. So she did an exclusive design for this box and it's beautiful. It's literally so, so beautiful. I'm in love. 
Okay, the next thing in here is just this little pin that has some acrobats on it. It kind of looks similar to the design that were on those little flags, and this is an Owl Crate exclusive pin, which they include in every box. Okay, so this next thing is actually a bookmark that is supposed to go with the candle. It's from Frostbeard Studio, which is the company that makes those candles, and it explains a little bit about like the um, scent of the candle. It's roasted chestnuts, caramel corn, and bonfire, and it's a bookmark. And it's so, so pretty. I literally can't get enough of the Night Circus stuff in here. This is like everything I could ever ask for in a subscription box, seriously. And finally, of course, the very last thing in this month's box is the book. And I actually guessed the book way ahead of time, just because I feel like it was the only book with this sort of theme that was coming around this time, but I'm still really excited about it. But that book is, of course, Caravel by Stephanie Garber. This is now actually my third copy of this book because I have the ARC and I have the UK cover, and I didn't have the US cover, but I do now, and I'm so happy because this cover is gorgeous. Okay, so I took it out of the plastic, but do you see this? Do you see how shiny it is? And then the center part is like kind of holographic. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I've actually already read and reviewed this book, so I have a review for it, which I'll leave linked on the screen as well as down below if you'd like to go watch it. And I also have an interview with Stephanie Garber, the author, so um, I will leave that linked as well if you'd like to go watch that interview. It was so, so much fun. I really enjoyed this book and Stephanie is such a wonderful human being. She's so kind and so much fun to talk to. So if you're interested, definitely go and check out that interview. So there are also a couple of items in here apart from the book. So first there's this little card that has a little quote about Caravel on it. It says, whatever you've heard about Caravel, it doesn't compare to the reality. It's more than just a game or a performance. It's the closest you'll ever find to magic in this world. And it's so pretty because this is like shiny as well. I just love the the art for this book. Okay, so this is so cool. I think this is a card to redeem an audiobook for either Caravel or the Star Touched Queen. And um, it says to just like go to this website and enter the access code. But that is so, so cool. That's literally like getting two books in one. I don't know if you get like the full audiobook or not. You might just get part of it. Either way, that's super cool. The next thing in here is actually a letter from Stephanie Garber, the author. And I'm assuming she just talks about her experience writing the book and what inspired her and everything. I love that Alcrate has this little personal um, author note in almost all of their boxes. It's just such a nice touch. And then lastly, there is a signed book plate in here so I can put it inside my book, which I'm really happy about because when I went there, I only had my ARC copy. So now I can have my finished copy as well as my ARC copy signed. So this again is another really nice touch. And then of course, the very last thing in here is the little card that tells you what next month's Owl Crate theme is. And it's Sailors, Ships, and Seas, which sounds super, super fun. All right, guys, but that is everything that was in the February Runaway with the Circus Owl Crate box. If you couldn't tell from my excitement opening up this box and with every single item, I loved this box so much. Hands down, the best Owl Crate box I have ever unboxed or ever even seen. I definitely think that this one tops all of their other boxes. This is like my favorite subscription unboxing I have ever done. Like I can say that without a doubt. With the number of Night Circus themed items that were in here, I feel like like it's pretty obvious. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was in this unboxing. I loved so many of the items in here, but of course my favorite one has to be the tote bag with the Night Circus artwork and the quote, because this is just so beautiful. I am so blown away. Again, a huge thank you to Owl Crate for feeding my Night Circus love. This box completely exceeded any of my expectations and I could not recommend it enough. They just outdo themselves every single time and this one was just the perfect one for me. Of course, I will leave a link to all of Owl Crate's information in the description box so you guys can go and check them out or subscribe to them if you haven't tried out one of their boxes in the past. I'd highly recommend them. I think they have such great and unique boxes with so many wonderful book related items. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!